Hello students. In previous lecture, we have talked about the boundary sets in metric space. In this session, we are going to study concept of subspace of metric space. If we have metric space X D and Y to be an empty subset of X, then for any A B C belongs to Y, that A B C also lies in X. And then for that A B C belonging to X, D satisfies all conditions of matrix that is uh, D of X Y D of A B greater equal zero, D of A B zero if and only if A equal to B. Third one is D of A B equal to D of B A and D of A B less equal to D of A C plus D of C B. So that axioms must be inherited from the properties must be inherited from superset to subspace. As that holds in superset. That must hold in its subset also. That's why Y together with matrix defined on whole matrix space is also matrix space, and that matrix space is called as subspace of matrix space X D. So see definition. Let X D be a matrix space. Y be an empty subset of X. For matrix subspace matrix space, set must be an empty. Then Y together with D function defined from X is a matrix space. This matrix space is also is called as subspace of X D matrix space X D. Now within an empty subset of X defines a matrix space with respect to D defined on that. So we have if X is infinite set, then it has infinitely many subsets, and every subset gives rise to Other than give rise to subspace, but why should be non-empty set? Why should be non-empty set? Now, openness of set depends on openness of set depends on metric space. Metric space. Okay. So see the example in R U. In R U, n is not open. n interior is equal to phi implies n is not open in R U. But n is open in n. With respect to metric d of x y is equal to mod of x y x minus y x comma y belongs to n. If every metric space is open in it, so n must be open in n d. Well, d of x y is defined in this way, which is a metric from R u, but that n is not open in R u. Similarly, if I take closed interval zero one, it is closed in R. It is not open in R. But that closed interval zero one, treating it as a sub subset of metric space closed interval zero one with respect to metric from R U, then it is open in itself. So if I take a subset closed open interval zero half. Then it is not open in R U, but it must be open in closed open interval zero half. Because if I take a neighborhood about uh, open sphere about zero with radius R, okay, the S R zero, it is minus R to R. But as I am taking one the points from closed open interval zero, closed interval zero one, so I have to only take points from closed interval zero one. So, which point lies on left-hand side of zero? Don't take that points in that open sphere, and that's why I can construct the open sphere about zero, which also lies in closed open interval zero, and so it becomes open set in closed interval zero one. So, this is the basic difference between given metric space and its subspace. Is it clear? So, if the given set is open in subspace. It need not be open in whole metric space. It need not be open in whole metric space. 
Is it clear? Now, we'll take uh, results related with subspace. So, firstly, so simple lemma. We'll take the simple lemma. If XD is a metric space and YD is subspace of XD. Okay. So, let yd be subspace of metric space metric space xd then for y belongs to y then for y belongs to y and r greater than 0 if i take the open sphere s r y s r y in y is subset of open sphere about y in x in x okay proof is too simple so s r y y is equal to x belongs to y such that d of x y is less than r s r x y open sphere about y with radius r in x is set of those x belongs to now i have to take that points in x such that d of x y less than r d of x y less than r then s yes, r x y intersection y is precisely x belongs to y such that d of x y okay x belongs to y subset of x is it clear so this is equal to s r y y s r y why is it clear so sorry yes sir here i have to show that this is a srx intersection bar so this we approved this result which is too simple which is so simple now we'll take the most uh, important result about the subspace so take the theorem is it clear so we'll take next theorem let yd be subspace of metric space xd let yd be subspace of metric space xd then what is the relation between open subsets of y and openness of that set in x okay then subset a is open in y then a, a is open in y open set in y if and only if there exists some open subset g in x is that there exists open set g in x such that a is equal to g intersection y is it clear and uh, second a is closed in y if and only if there exist closed set f in x such that a is equal to f intersection y so this is the important result on subspace so we'll prove one by one okay Oop. <coughs> so suppose for a part a is equal to g intersection y for some open set g in y okay suppose 
a is equal to g intersection y for some open subset for some open set g in x what is our aim a is open in y a is open in y this is our aim So let A belongs to A be arbitrary point. But to show that it is open in Y, then A belongs to J also. A is equal to G intersection Y. Okay. Then A belongs to A is equal to G intersection Y implies this. A also belongs to G. What this implies is now, as it is point in G and G is open. Okay. Since G is open in X, therefore for A belongs to G, there exists some R greater than 0 such that open sphere about A in X is contained in G. Now if I take intersection of both sets with Y implies this S R X A intersection Y must be subset of G intersection Y. But by lemma this is nothing but S R Y A is subset of this is equal to A by hypothesis. Thus, for any A belongs to A, there exists R greater than 0 such that open sphere about A in Y is subset of A and therefore A is open in A is open set in Y. Now conversely we will assume that A is open in Y. Okay. Conversely, suppose Conversely, suppose A is open in Y If I assume that A is open in Y now what this implies is for every R grade, for every A belongs to A, there exists some R greater than 0 such that S R A in Y lies in A. Okay. Implies is for every A belongs to A, there exists radius also depending on A greater than 0 such that S R Y A is contained in A is contained in A. Now, S R A X intersection X uh, sorry Y is equal to S R A Y A. Is it clear? And so if I take union of all these union of all these sets Therefore, union of S R A X A intersection Y is equal to union of S R A Y A A where is in A. This must be equal to A then. This must be equal to A. Okay. Now, S R A X A is open in open sphere in X and hence open set. Now since arbitrary union of 
Arbitrary union of open sets is open. Open sets is open. Therefore, G is equal to union of S R A X A where A value is in A is open in X. Okay. From 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, the result is proved. From 1 and 2, G intersection Y is equal to A for open set G in X. Thus, the result is proved. B. What is our B part? We have to show that A is closed in Y if and only if A is equal to F intersection Y for some closed set F in X. Okay. To show A is closed in Y if and only if A is equal to F intersection Y for some closed set F in X. Okay. What to prove this? Now A is closed in Y. If and only its complement is open, so if and only y minus a is open in y. Now here I cannot denote it by a complement because a complement is a complement of a in x. I am just considering complement of a in y. So I am taking y minus a. y minus a is open. If I only if y minus a is equal to g intersection. y minus a for some open set for some open set g in x by a path. Is it clear? <coughs> y minus a is equal to g intersection y minus a. Now how I can write this uh, y minus sorry uh, y minus a is open. a is open is apparently if uh, yes. So we are getting y minus a here. Now y minus a is equal to g intersection y minus a is open in y so g intersection sorry y here g intersection y for some open set g in x. Now a is equal to now a equal to y minus g intersection y. Okay. If I'm leave a a is equal to y minus g intersection y is equal to x intersection y minus z intersection y y same as x intersection y but this is same as x minus g intersection y okay is equal to f intersection y pair f is equal to x minus g is closed in x 
at g is open in x. So all these steps are if and only if. All these steps are if and only if steps and therefore the result is proved. Therefore the result is proved. Is it clear? <laughs> now we will take uh, next simple result. Or we'll take it as a corollary. Let yd be subset of metric space xd. Okay. Let yd be subset of metric space xd. Then a a is open in y and y is open in x implies is a is open in x and b part a is closed in y y closed in x must imply this a is also closed in x okay a closed in y and y closed in x implies a is closed in x. Proof is also simple. A since a is open in y implies a is equal to g intersection y for some open set for some open set g in x 1 now y is open in x and g is open in x implies g intersection y is open in x why we know that finite intersection of open sets is open okay finite intersection of open sets is open okay so therefore from 1 to from 1 to g intersection uh, a is open in x because a is precisely the intersection y on same line will prove b a is closed in y implies this a is equal to f intersection y for some closed set close set f in x this is one again now y is closed in x therefore f intersection y is closed in x so y is closed in x is given and we know that finite intersection of closed sets in fact arbitrary intersection of closed sets is closed arbitrary intersection of closed sets is closed therefore f intersection y is closed in x so 1 and 2 implies a is closed in x is it clear so with this discussion today we will stop our session i thanks all of you for listening session again i request all of you go through all sessions listen each session from 
beginning to end of that session and also like each session subscribe my channel for motivation to me thanks bye bye